What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here and we have some news to bring to you today, some more transfer updates. Um, we Looks like we're finally getting a player in the door and we're finally getting a player out the door. Well, to be honest, I say finally, but it's only been about 10 days of the transfer window. But with all the rumours of the incomings and the outgoings, it, it seems like it's been a lot longer this transfer window. But let me bring you the story of the incoming. It looks like uh, Benfica midfielder Gedson Fernandez will be joining Tottenham Hotspur on an 18-month loan deal with an option to buy him for 55 million at the end of his loan. So this is a player who had the chance to join West Ham or Tottenham and obviously he joined Tottenham because why would you join West Ham if you got those two options on the table? Um, Fernandez had a release clause in his contract of 102 million and Obviously, they didn't think they can get anywhere near that, so um, they've let him go for kind of a 55 million. I'm not sure what the loan fee is, but I mean, it's a player that hasn't seen much game time this season. He's kind of fallen out of favour at Benfica. He's had two Portuguese caps, and it's a player that Jose Mourinho will probably know a lot about, um, obviously being Portuguese and keeps a close eye on the Portuguese leagues. Um, it's a player I don't know much about, so let me know in the comment section below if you think this is a good signing for us. I know it's a it's a position that we need and I think anyone, we're crying out for anyone in that middle at the moment. So I think it's a good signing, albeit I haven't seen much of him play. So it's one to get excited about. Um, so let's move on to the next one. We talk about Christian Eriksen and it looks like Christian Eriksen has played his last game for Tottenham. Um, it looks like he was waving goodbye to the fans today as he got subbed off against Liverpool. And Gazeta della Sport have uh, reported that Ericsson has agreed personal terms and has accepted a four-year contract at Inter Milan. And Tottenham are still refusing to accept anything less than 17 million. So it looks like Ericsson has completed all the personal terms with Inter Milan, but there's still um, Tottenham and Inter Milan still need to agree a fee. So I think it'll, it'll probably happen in the next couple of days for a fee of around 20 million. Uh, but it looks like Christian Eriksen has played his last game for the club. And I'd like to thank him, to be honest, because everyone has given Eriksen a hard time, me included, in this past year. But I think he's been at Tottenham a long time. He was a great servant up until a year ago. And even in between, he's done some great moments for us. Obviously, when we beat Wolves a couple of weeks ago, he came on and completely changed the game. Um, and a couple of other games around that period as well, which he's really come on and, and helped us. So... I would like to say thank you for his services and I wish you all the best for the future. Um, it's just a shame it didn't end uh, the way that we kind of wanted it to end. And the past kind of year, he's, he's been wanting out the door. He should have gone last summer. But yeah, it is what it is. That's the transfer updates today. Gedson Fernandez in over the next couple of days and Ericsson out over the next couple of days. Let me know what you think of these transfers. Like, subscribe and comment below. And as always, come on you Spurs.